сегодня хотел бы сфокусироваться на нескольких глобальных трендах в своем докладе. Global trends in my presentation and to share the overall vision of Petchem's developments. Petrochemical industry in Russia has been actively uh, developing, thus providing opportunities for the same for the adjacent industries. We have been seeing that for a number of years already. According to our estimates, the trend would continue. And uh, as uh, Artem uh, said, well, three, five years forward, uh, this horizon, we will be sure to see it. A noticeable uh, role in the uh, growth of demand will be played by the continuing trend of import substitution. And another trend, which is becoming more and more prominent, is the environmental trend. As we appreciate uh, the traditional growth in such industries as food industry, construction industry, automotive, and uh, a different uh, resuscitating trend uh, that is doing uh, uh, the insertion of large-scale projects into the closed cycle economic uh, trends is a good example of what's happening in the uh, recent couple of years. I will focus on the trends a bit later, but to start with, let me throw at you a number of general figures and trends. Global uh, oil and gas uh, chemical industry is a key driver of uh, industrial growth uh, as such. In the course uh, of recent decades, growth rates in the pet chems um, industry uh, have been uh, way above those uh, of the GDP figures. And just to reiterate, we, ho we are sure that it will continue, but it is highly unlikely that uh, it will happen at such a rate uh, that we saw in terms of consumption of plastic and polymer and uh, this diff is narrowing down. Why? In the 90s, in the 2000s uh, generally, we saw this phase uh, of establishing an active growth of the market for the pet camps. It was uh, marked by large investments, high rates of capacity addition, and in all the industries of uh, petrochemistry and gas chemistry, uh, we have been just uh, probing into ways of application of those materials, replacing wood and metal and other traditional materials. Today, uh, synthetic materials market and the polymers market in particular is is uh, uh, already mature and therefore uh, lower rates and the spread between uh, the polyolefin demand and the global GDP is narrowing down. Pet chems companies and us are living in this new paradigm now and our purpose uh, is to maximize the output of the competitive advantages we have providing opportunities for market penetration uh, of our products coming into the new sub-industries and niches uh, including uh, those which have materialized as a result of the fourth industrial revolution. This uh, active uh, synchronized growth of developing nations, uh, especially in the last uh, decade, was marked by transition to the market economy and unprecedented uh, uptrend in the global trading market. Uh, for instance, the key example, and I would like to focus on that, not the only example, but the key indicator is, of course, China. In China, we uh, have uh, seen that uh, upon uh, establishing a number of strategic goals high economic growth rates, reorganization, industrialization, multifaceted uh, upgrading of the economy and using free uh, money resources. Uh, all those uh, goals uh, were supported by a number of uh, areas and construction and infrastructural developments have become the pillars which uh, made it possible to build the entire building of the Chinese economic growth. And uh, in this uh, year's uh, demand for traditional materials was uh, a bit above the plastics uh, demand. But we're keeping track of the trends. Uh, we have our own uh, fully-fledged uh, service of strategic marketing, and we do observe that both uh, global economists and industry experts uh, share the opinion that today there are no prerequisites for another uh, spin of this uh, tremendous economic growth and therefore replacement of traditional materials by more uh, environmentally friendly materials is a good window of opportunity. What are those materials we have in mind? Generally, let us think uh, whether there will be opportunities and prerequisites for uh, growth uh, between the competition uh, 
in, uh, of the competition between traditional and alternative polyolefins, bioplastics. This is plastics derived uh, from uh, uh, all kinds of uh, oil, uh, fats, uh, starch, corn starch, uh, etc., bioproducts. In terms of their properties, they are way below the traditional ones. The key areas of applications uh, will be short life cycle, um, mass uh, demand products, or high tech uh, uh, organically uh, predicated, uh, or the medical type, for instance, uh, plastic products. And that requires bringing into the process of quite a number of agricultural, water, and other types of resources and yields negative environmental uh, effects uh, of production. For instance, to cater for our plastic production needs in the planet, we need uh, uh, lands. Uh, to the uh, tune of France, Germany, and Great Britain uh, area combined. Volumetrically, we see that the share of plastics is not uh, tremendous, but it is there, and by 2021, we forecast it at 1.5%. Also, uh, there will be contribution of high-tech uh, plastics, uh, which uh, can uh, do the job in extreme conditions in aggressive environments. Those are ideal in terms of chemical uh, compatibility and can even replace metals. Now I would like to focus on the trend and the kind of plastics that we see gaining more and more demand. Uh, the market is more and more penetrated by recycled polymer materials. We do observe that companies involved in this uh, process, in this uh, area of economy in general, uh, moving towards the closed cycle philosophy, this uh, new economically predicated global trend and cyclical principles are already being laid in the foundation of initial design of products and mean that uh, to start with uh, capacity design and uh, formulations development uh, are predicated on the recycling of uh, source components. Recycled polymers are opted for due to a number of reasons. Uh, very often it is lucrative in terms of price and uh, the energy requirements and feedstock requirements for production of those are much uh, lesser and we have uh, to dump much less wastes. Uh, at the same time we do emphasize that providing competitive uh, prerequisites for the development of this uh, market uh, is uh, based on the relevant infrastructure. There should be economic expediency and consumer demand currently. Uh, this is not very much developed because there is a fully fledged uh, demand uh, confirmed uh, by consumers and uh, suppliers uh, for traditional polymers. A few words about the economics of the closed cycle. We do see that uh, global changes signal the acute uh, need uh, to replace the model we have been living with uh, for quite long ago. This model of linear economy, which we can uh, say is all about uh, obtaining uh, production and uh, dumping. So this uh, resource uh, sustainable uh, closed cycle uh, economic model uh, is uh, another uh, piece that we would like to cover here. The main principle is to provide maximum efficiency from every process in the life cycle of a piece of goods or services. This economic model is marked by tremendous optimization of every cycle of the production process. Uh, uh, prominent uh, environmental friendliness and uh, high uh, technology level of products uh, and uh, the assurance of the uh, compatibility and capability of recycling of wastes uh, which emerge therefore and the trends which should take us to this model is to is mobilization of the government uh, that is providing the regulatory uh, framework. And we do see that the Russian government is uh, moving towards that uh, goal, at least for a number of years. And the shift in the public perception uh, towards getting access to products with longer lifetime. 
and achievements in the area of t uh, processes and technology, that is processing of materials which are at the final phase of their operation. Uh, and it will yield uh, more benefits uh, such as economy of primary resources, creating new jobs. Uh, there will be no need uh, to engage in waste management and the global uh, CO2 containing emissions will be much less. So the major conclusion out of that is that switching to the principles of economy of the closed cycle is a multi-level and intricately connected process which brings in the public and private uh, segments of society at large and only through a decent institutional environments and regulatory framework we will be able to realize synergies of that. In so far we can only speak uh, of disintegrated elements uh, of the future model but we are moving towards the goal. In the pet camps, going back to our industry, the economy of the closed cycle is interesting from the point of view of decreasing the carbon footprint and the amount of wastes. That means that uh, longer lifetime of operation aided by various technologies in so far in the majority of chains theoretically could be uh, taking all the way to reusing the feedstock which will uh, save uh, energy. And so, so we can move around this trajectory in the reverse direction as this slide demonstrates. There are examples of doing that, including examples in our company in the area, uh, for instance, of making films at the, uh, nowadays. Uh, something which is off spec is brought back into production once again. There are such processes as depolarization and there are companies which are converting polystyrene to styrene again. Uh, which could be reused in new production processes. And those sub-industries and areas and efforts are already prominent in uh, some industries. Plastics, generally. We appreciate our products uh, as being simple and very functional and has become an integral part of this world. Plastics uh, feature a very wide scope of uh, application. They enhance functionality, safety, feature unique uh, advantages, simplicity of treatment, energy efficiency, uh, handling, uh, simplicity and uh, they are set to grow. Plastics, uh, despite the phobia uh, which are often supported in various parts of the community, I will skip uh, uh, the judgment, but uh, the environmental friendliness is much better than with any other uh, material. We are using twice less water for making plastics as opposed to making glass and six to eight times less energy required than for making aluminum. This is a mathematically proven fact. The contribution of pet camps in the decreasing of uh, greenhouse gases can also be tracked by the following example, a Boeing plane or a Boeing company, according to the information at their website, is 80% built from composite polymer material, which uh, brings down fuel consumption uh, and uh, emissions uh, of harmful substances by 20%. Or using polymer uh, construction foam in construction, which decreases the uh, heat energy requirements of buildings, therefore indirectly in uh, our mind, but actually directly, as a matter of fact, uh, decreasing energy consumption, therefore greenhouse gases emissions, polymer packing uh, prolongs the lifetime of foodstuffs. And the last point, any plastic actually could be made uh, fully recyclable. Even one PET bottle uh, is enough uh, to make uh, the pens which many of you have in your hands. Sibor is an active supporter of Russia's switching to principles of the closed cycle economy, which is reflected in the philosophy of the company. In the raw material model, uh, we are 
doing our best processing APG, which used to be venting of flared, uh, vented of flared, uh, thus providing a lot of carbon footprints in the processing uh, line uh, for several five uh, to six years. We have been focused on acquiring the uh, technology, upgrading our existing capacities, putting in place new capacities, revamping to implement uh, technology which are deemed to be best practice, which are predicated on energy efficiency, cutting of CO2 emissions, and uh, responsible uh, use of those technologies in terms of natural resources impact. Product uh, safety is undisputable, and the special focus today in the company is uh, on the a product recycling potential and uh, we are always in touch with the regulators uh, participating in making this happen. By and large we are implementing those approaches through a number of uh, actions. We are part of the Sorted Right Russian National, uh, National Project Initiative. We support the goal of the event uh, of uh, uniting public and private uh, sector and municipalities to implement efficient practices uh, of uh, segregated uh, collection of waste. Uh, we are part uh, of uh, global and European initiatives, for instance, Plastics Europe, we have entered this association. In 2015, we joined the Responsible Care Charter, which implies adhering to the standards of environmental protection. You can refer to those areas of developments in the company at our website. It's not just philosophy. It's not just uh, reflected in the values we share, but in our daily approaches. Uh, more than 30,000 people uh, of Cibor are doing that. Within the company, uh, we are making efforts uh, in changing the mindset and the attitude which starts with sorting it right, which is based on the assumption that relations within a company are based on the green office principles. And there is a number of interesting examples. Uh, together with Wilson, we presented the first ever eco-friendly basketball made from recycled PET bottles. And it has become the official uh, match ball for the next season in the VTB United League. And of course, uh, we are going around lecturing about all those initiatives, starting from high schools to universities. And my short message for you today is all that uh, makes me think that uh, in this regard we will be successful without a doubt. So during the bottom line to my today's presentation, I'd say that uh, not uh, only uh, thousands of tons of traditional production uh, matter, but uh, also what is happening with the polymers afterward and um, our involvement in the design of the product to make sure that the product would do the right job in the adjacent industries. This is also part of our job which we are taking care of. And to uh, wrap up, I would like to thank our colleagues who made the introductions and I thank you my uh, fellow panelists and that's a good platform for communication for presentations to know more and live uh, from uh, conference to conference processing uh, digesting intellectually the information we can uh, obtain here Sibor uh, uses this opportunity to the full extent thank you so much